Morning skate going on at Rogers Arena. Happy Canucks Eve, everybody. Sully and Force are here. It's official. The NHL is back. The boys in green are ready to go. Now, let's be honest. In terms of the NHL lockout, everyone was saying how the players stayed in shape. Look at the fine form both of these gentlemen are in. What did you do to stay so fit and ready to go on game day? We're like bears. It was hibernation. <laughs> the day of the lockout, just stored away, worked out. I'm pumped. This is going to be awesome. You're ready to rock, and uh, Sully, I mean, in the in the midst of the lockout, you wrote a book, and now the antics are going to be back by the penalty box. Have you guys planned out the uh, routine for uh, for the Ducks Saturday night? Yeah, we got a couple uh, pretty sweet things in mind. Uh, standard green men procedure, we can't let the cat out of the bag just Good. yet. But, of course, after a giant lockout like that, you got to poke fun at some certain people. Uh, <laughs> Gary Bedman. So, uh, stuff like that may happen. It's yeah. going to be good. What about, uh, talk about your podcasts. Yeah, the podcast. Uh, cool. We released uh, two of them now up on iTunes. Uh, after the first 24 hours, we were number seven on the top ten. Uh, That's amazing. Yeah, ahead of Dan Patrick and stuff like that. Some huge podcasts. So it's it's really fun. Uh, we get to talk kind of green men. We get to talk Canucks, talk NHL. And then uh, this week, we got to talk some Liam Neeson, which is a life goal just to talk about Liam him. So. Neeson. Well, what is it about Liam Neeson that kind of stands out to you, boys? Well, to be honest, uh, I think, like, the ADD kicked into something. We were doing the podcast and the TV out of the, my peripheral. I saw the Taken 2 advertisement. You got to talk Liam Neeson. That movie is terrible. I love Liam Neeson. That's what I said. The original is good, but Taken 2, do not go out and rent that movie. You took my daughter, and I will find you. Uh, yeah, the podcast has been a lot of fun. We've only done two so far, and we've kept it pretty uh, just us talking. But next week, we're going to bring on guests, live uh, Twitter Q&As. Uh, we have an awesome story this week about um, we went and auditioned for a TV commercial to play ourselves Sully and Force and we didn't get the part. What? Oh. To play Sully and Force. Pretenders got your spot. Absolutely. It was for a bank commercial in Calgary. It would have been with Mark Giordano from the Flames and we literally we went into the we thought we had the part we just went down and all of a sudden there's green men everywhere to play Sully and Force like they described our body types. We didn't get the part. And you didn't get the part to play yourself. No. So if you want the full details on that the podcast has it is ridiculous. It's wrong man. Absolutely. We need to get your agent I think, on that. I think we need, I think we need a boycott of do. some sort. Yeah. <laughs> what? They're trying to mess with us. That's what Calgary's doing to get back at us. It's not going to stand. <laughs> it is not going to stand. We will clean this up. You know, uh, we were just looking at some of the footage, and uh, how fantastic is it to see thousands of people coming to the arena in the last couple of nights just to see uh, their boys on the ice in the scrimmages. What have you guys found with the fan reaction? I mean, you were still up to, you know, your antics during the lockout. What have you found from lockout time to what we're about to see this weekend? Uh, everyone pretended to be mad for about two days, and then, as evidenced by the scrimmages, they're pretty much fully packed houses here at Rogers Arena. People can pretend all they want. They oh, are going to be watching the game tomorrow so cool. night in front of their televisions or here or at the bar. So, you know, t uh, teams in the South are the ones that are going to struggle, but Canucks, I'm not worried about it. Everyone loves them. We're here. We're ready to rock. And you, Mr. I wrote a book during our, our time off. What was the response? Yeah, that happened. Uh, it was awesome. It was absolutely tremendous. And the beautiful thing about it is it just keeps growing. Like the thing with books is once Christmas passes, that's pretty much the end of book season. But now the NHL's back on. It's almost like a second Christmas. And uh, it just got picked up by uh, Overweighty Foods, Price Smart Foods, Save on Foods, and Cooper's Foods. And it'll be available throughout the province the next few weeks. And you know there's a special confession with uh, Miss Jody Vance in the book. There may be. Uh, I'm completely bright red and blushing underneath the suit, but uh, very nervous right now. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> it's a we're, dream we're come cool. true. He's got a secret crush. He talks all about it in the book. you got to pick this up. I love it. it. Makes me feel good. Predictions for the season, boys? I want to see what you guys do about Gary Bettman in the... Oh. The game tomorrow night. It's happening. Yeah, it, yeah? It, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Jody Vance touched my shoulder. I totally oh, God. did. <laughs> we should give them a moment. Final words for you. Predictions on what we're going to see. Oh, the Canucks win the cup. Canucks win the cup. Absolutely. Simple <laughs> as that. Uh, based on Mason Raymond's three goals last night, I think he's going to win the Ross. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Bring it. I'm uh, all on. Yeah, board. I mean, uh, we'll see how the longer thing plays out, but I have full confidence in Corey Schneider, and uh, hopefully the youngins like Jordan Schrader can step up and play. And well, of be, course, we'll be up to our stupid antics. I'll be at the game tomorrow night. So I'll come down and high five you at some point. How about that? Sounds good. That? Okay. And all we're going to send that. the high five over to Thor, who's doing entertainment. Double duty, buddy. You're all over it.